Hello and welcome to another video in the IFM series. So, today I am here to tell you that if you really want success and happiness, saying affirmations consistently and daily is just part of the technique. Today, let's talk about the treasure house within you. We all have a treasure house. Matter of fact, we were born with it. The problem is many are not aware of it or even know how to use it wisely. It's being used by many, but they are using it the wrong way. And so, the reason for this video is to tell you of the techniques that you can use to achieve success and happiness in your life. I also want to alert you about infinite riches which surrounds you. You are surrounded by unlimited riches, we all are. And to tap into these treasures, you have to open your mental eyes. Because that's the only way it's going to work. You have to open your mental eyes and see your treasure house. You were born with a gold mine from which you can extract everything you need to live a joyous, glorious, abundant, successful, and happy life. Many do not know how to use this gold mine of infinite intelligence and boundless love within themselves. You have the power to bring into being whatever you want, whatever you desire. However, it all depends on you and the type of person you are. For there are two types of people. There are the magnetized people who are full of confidence and faith. And this type of people, they believe that they are born to win and succeed. On the other hand, there are those type of people who we refer to as demagnetized people. They are very fearful and doubtful. When opportunities come banging down their door, they have a tendency of saying, I might fail. I might lose my money. People will laugh at me. And so on and so forth. Maybe you know some people like that. Yeah, we call them demagnetized people. And this type of people, they will never get very far in life. Because if they are afraid to go forward in life, they will simply stay where they are, day in and day out. And they will miss out on a lot. Still, it's never too late to become part of the magnetized group and discover the master secret that the ancients or that people of old have used to become successful and happy. So maybe you're wondering what the master secret is. And where you can find it and how you can use it to change your life. But I will tell you, the master secret is a marvelous miracle working power that is found in your very own, yeah, your very own subconscious mind. 
that's the last place that most people would look for it because many people are not even aware of his existence so you want to know what's the big deal with the subconscious mind and how it changes lives how it gets people to be more happy and more successful well hang in there because you see with the marvelous power of the subconscious mind you can bring into your life more power more wealth good health more lots more happiness and success when you learn to contact and release the hidden power of your subconscious mind you do not even have to buy this power because you already have it everyone is born with it once people understand it and they learn how to use it wisely they can apply it to every areas of their lives and live a life of success and happiness all that's needed of you is to follow simple techniques that will be uploaded in videos and this will help you to gain the necessary knowledge and understanding that you will need So I hope today is the day that you were inspired by a new light which can help you to generate a new force that will enable you to realize your hopes and make all your dreams come true. The decision remains with you. The decision is yours to make. If you want to make your life more successful and happy than before, yeah, the decision is yours. Because deep down in your subconscious mind, you have unlimited wisdom, unlimited power, and unlimited supply of all that is necessary, just waiting to be developed and expressed. But you have to begin to recognize all these potentials of your deeper mind and see them take form. You see the infinite intelligence in your subconscious mind. It can show you everything you need to know at every moment of time and space, provided you are open-minded and receptive. You can receive new thoughts, new ideas, which can enable you to invent something new, or even write books. The infinite intelligence in your subconscious mind can give you wonderful kinds of knowledge, of and of knowledge that is original in nature. Through the wisdom of your subconscious mind, you can attract the ideal companion as well as the right business associate or partner. It can find the right buyer for your home if you are a homeowner, and it can provide you with all the money you need and the financial freedom to be what you want to be, to do whatever you desire. It is your right to discover this inner world of thought, feeling, and power of light, love, and beauty. Although it is invisible, its forces are strong and mighty. So listen to me when I tell you that within your subconscious mind lies the answer for every problem, along with the cause for every effect. And since you have the ability to draw out or to bring out your hidden powers, you can actually possess power and wisdom which are necessary 
to help you change your life. To help you move forward in abundance, security, joy, happiness and success. There is a miraculous healing power in your subconscious mind that can heal the troubled troubled mind and broken heart. It is so powerful that it can open the prison doors of the mind and liberate you. It can free you from all kinds of material and physical bondage. Your subconscious mind works according to the law of belief. You must know what belief is, why it works, and how it works. The Bible, the good book, it says in simple, clear, and beautiful terms, Whosoever shall sit unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that these things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he sees. And this is found in Mark eleven twenty three. If you don't have a Bible, you could Google it. Simply put, the law of your mind is the law of belief. This means to believe in the way your mind works, to believe in belief itself. The belief of your mind is the thought of your mind. So you see, all your experiences, events, conditions, and actions are the reactions of your subconscious mind to your thoughts. Remember, it is not the thing believed in but the belief in your own mind which brings about the result. So stop believing in false beliefs, opinions, superstitions, and fears of other people. Instead, you must start believing in the positive and good truths, and your life will change for the best. Anyone who watches these videos and applies the techniques of the subconscious mind will be able to pray effectively for themselves and others. Your prayer will be answered according to the universal law of action and reaction. Thought, your thoughts are incipient actions. The reaction is the response from your subconscious mind. And it corresponds with the nature of your thoughts. So keep your mind busy with thoughts of good health, peace, goodwill, love, joy, success, happiness, and great wonders will happen in your life. Think of your mind like a garden of which you are the gardener and ever so often you are planting seeds, thoughts in your subconscious mind. Every minute of the day and these these thoughts are based on your habitual thinking and as you sow into your subconscious mind so shall you reap in your body and your environment. So I know we are into February. But you know the year is still young and those New Year's resolutions. It's not too late to start, you know, doing some mind cleaning, to start thinking positively, to start changing the way you think to make your life better. If you want to make this this year the best year ever, this very moment, what you need to do is start
start sowing thoughts of peace, happiness, right action, goodwill, and prosperity. Moving on forward, you must think quietly and with interest on positive qualities and accept them fully in your conscious reasoning mind. You have to continue to plant wonderful seeds or wonderful thoughts in the garden of your mind if you want to reap a glorious harvest. You see, your subconscious mind may be likened to the soil that grows all kinds of seeds, good seeds, bad seeds. In the good book, there's a verse that says, Do men gather grapes of thorns, of figs, of thistles? You see, every thought is there for a cause, and every condition is an effect. And for this reason, it is very, very important that you take charge of your thoughts. Take charge of your thinking. So you could bring forth only desirable conditions. You have to control your thoughts. You have to control what you think. Remember the song, like, I remember when I was growing up, there was a song, Oh, be careful, little minds, what you think. Because face it, people, thoughts do become things. When your mind thinks positively, when you understand the truth, when the thoughts deposited in your subconscious mind are constructive, harmonious, and peaceful, then the magic working power of your subconscious mind will respond and bring back harmonious conditions, agreeable surroundings, and the best of everything. When you begin to take control of your thinking, you can apply the powers of of your subconscious to any problem or difficulty. In other words, you will actually be consciously cooperating with the infinite power that governs all things. Take a look around you, wherever you are, wherever you live. And you will notice that many people, they are living in the world without. And the more enlightened, well, they are are more interested in the world within. You need to remember that the world within, these are your thoughts, these are your feelings, and whatever you imagine makes up your world without. Therefore, it is the only creative power and everything that you express has been created by you in your inner mind, consciously or unconsciously. So having knowledge of how your conscious and subconscious minds interact helps you to transform your whole life. You see, in order for you to change the external conditions, you must change the cause. Most people try to change conditions and circumstances by working with conditions and circumstances. And that's wrong, because to get rid of discord, confusion, lack, and limitations, you must remove the cause and the cause is the way you are using your conscious mind. In other words, the way you are thinking and picturing in your mind. So 
So your homework is to change your mental thinking. If you're a negative person, change your mental thinking from negative to positive. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And remember, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, these are the things you're supposed to be thinking on. These are not my words. These are words from the good book. want to live a more successful, a more happy, a more abundant life, then it's, it begins in your mind. It all begins in the mind. It all begins in the thoughts that you have up there. And your belief, your faith. Watch this video over and over. Because I have watched videos where people just tell you, recite this, recite that. You know, there's, more to, there's more to it than that. You cannot just sit down and recite and recite. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Not that I'm looking any videos out there. I'm simply saying that reciting and affirming is just part of the whole technique. Videos out there are good. I find them very interesting. So let's recap. We covered that. You have a treasure house within you. And you must look within yourself for the answers to your heart's desire. The great secret possessed by great men of old was the ability to contact and release the powers of the subconscious mind. And you can do the same. Your subconscious mind has the answer to all problems. If you suggest your subconscious mind before you go to sleep, I want to get up at 6 a.m., it will awaken you at, exact, at the exact time. Your subconscious mind is the builder of your body and can heal you. Lull yourself to sleep every night with the idea of perfect health, and your subconscious mind, being your faithful servant, will obey you. Every thought is a cause and every condition is an effect. If you want to write a book, if you want to write a wonderful play, if you want to give a better talk to your audience, simply convey the idea lovingly and feelingly to your subconscious mind and it will respond accordingly. You are like a captain navigating a ship. The captain must give the right orders, and likewise, you must give the right orders, thoughts, and images to your subconscious mind, which controls and governs all your experiences. You must never, never, ever use the terms, I can't afford it, or I can't do this. These words should never be part of your vocabulary. For you see, your subconscious mind takes you at your word and sees to it that you do not have the money or the ability to do what you want to do. Instead, you must affirm, I can do all things through the power of my subconscious mind. 
the law of life is the law of belief. A belief is a thought in your mind. Do not believe in things to harm or hurt you. Instead, you must believe in the power of your subconscious mind to heal, to inspire, to strengthen, and to prosper you. According to your belief, so is it done unto you. Change your thoughts and change your destiny. Have faith.